Welcome to Stream, a truck tractor trailer.com production. My name is Zach Miller. I'm your host, and this episode is sponsored by Ship.Cars. Uh, we're honored to be joined today by Ship.Cars uh, president, Eftem Eftemov, and um, by Bella Williams, who is the head of operations at Williams Transport, um, a, a fleet that use, utilizes Ship.Cars as their TMS software. Welcome. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Welcome to both of you. Hi, Zach. Uh, thanks for hosting us. Absolutely. Um, Bella, I do want to ask you, because, you know, this is this is freight tech. This is something we talk about a lot on, on stream about um, the different applications for freight tech, how different fleets utilize it. So what are some of the potential pitfalls of not planning for technology adaptation ahead of time? Um, yeah. Hi, Zach. Hi, everybody. My name is Bella. And um, I just wanted to say thank you for having me on your platform. Um, but we have been using um, technology since we started um, our operation. So some of the potential pitfalls of not planning technology adoption ahead of time is really not knowing where your business stands. So until you are able to use technology to your advantage, you're always stuck in the rut of running in circles, uh, booking, running, and repeating you know, that process all over again. But technology does allow you to track certain metrics, which help in innovations. And in our example, we use the technology we had in ship.cars and on um, different load boards to not only plan ahead, but to forge a relationship with our brokers, with our customers. And also we're able to see in real time where the bulk of our business is coming from and then just really tap into that. So Eftem and his team, um, they did a really good job with the ship.cars platform um, where they, you know, care about the carriers, they care about the shippers, and their intentions is just to um, improve the platform so that they can make, you know, the technology adaptation easy for everybody that is um, a part of that platform. And and Eftem, you know, just you know, quickly to that point, you, your team at Chip.Cars, you're always sort of tweaking the platform based on feedback like that. Correct. Uh, we have been trying to collect uh, feedback uh, regularly uh, from carriers, uh, from their drivers to make sure that uh, really the platform evolves uh, and stays uh, up to date with, uh, with their demand. Pretty much uh, for the five years uh, in which we, we've had a relationship with, uh, with carriers, uh, you know, we have always tried to, uh, to remain close. Uh, and yes, one piece of this uh, is collecting feedback. Another important piece of this is uh, just uh, showing them uh, when we were thinking about an idea of how we can uh, make their life better and collecting feedback, okay, are we on the right track or do we need to tweak here and there to make a better feature? Well, so that's interesting. And 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 I wanna to ask you about this, Bella, because you know I, I think there's always that sort of um, dichotomy between the management side and then the driver side. So when it comes to location tracking, do you look at that as sort of a blessing or a curse or maybe a mix of the two? Um, location tracking is a mix of the two. Um, when we train our drivers, we train them on the positives of it. Um, ship that cars um, on the driver EPOD side when they do their inspections. Um, it gives, you know, the location that, and a timestamp on all the inspection photos. So that does take away from the liability in the event something were to happen, you know, at the inspection or, you know, during the time of delivery, they can go back and look at it. The other piece that we train them on is also, you know, if you're off duty, you don't obviously have to keep the location tracking off there. There is a way to turn it off. Um, so if you're off duty, you can turn it off. Um, but I think a lot of different um, applications do use that. If you look at your ELD, for example, all you know, all drivers have an ELD. So I don't have to go through mm -hmm. my ship cars application to track you. If I really want to know where you are, I can look at certainly the ELD. So we definitely um, make it into a positive uh, for our for our um, drivers. Mm -hmm.